Hello and welcome to today's video today I'm bringing you episode 2 of my little Fallout 4 series thing Now I had a look at it and if I quickly put all of the leather armor back on Make sure I got everything I do The total resistance is are significantly worse than the cage armor as a whole. Now although I do have higher electricity protection I'd rather have a more equal balanced out protection between the two just so I reduce the risk of getting my ass destroyed in any sort of raider fight. So we are gonna stick with cage armor for the time being. Um, as for this episode I was thinking I build at the beginning and then we will move on to do maybe a quest or two. If not, um, we'll clear out some locations. Now unfortunately for me, even in some rooms like this right So this is uh, editing Liam here. I just thought I would cover how bad this is actually for me. So um, this is what you guys see. And this will make sense because I also plan to do a couple other games where it also started getting dark and I had a hard time looking. So this is what you guys see and what I can see now um, because I'm editing at night so there's no screen glare. Now for me unfortunately I couldn't actually find a filter but this is probably the closest I could get to it because there's no straight up darkening function for me. Um, so this is what it would look like a bit more closely so obviously it's not as severe as a comparison as I wanted to make but um, imagine the um, shadow there be pretty much basically pitch black even with the torch of the Pip-Boy on that's why you see me turn the Pip-Boy on because I genuinely couldn't see what was on the floor in that room properly that's how bad it was for me but um, yeah anyway let's scan the video it isn't too dark I still can't see much because the room is very bright yeah, like in real life but I would like to turn the lighthouse into my house so I think this episode we're going to focus on clearing out this um, the whole house over there can stay like that for the time being until I decide when I want uh, some settlers to come in because for the time being do not really one settlers. Is that vodka? I thought it was a Molotov for a second. I was about to say, who the fuck just drops a Molotov and leaves it there? Get some resources. Mainly wood, but that's okay. There's probably something we can scrap the steel around here because I know I don't have much car. A bit of concrete over here. That's got to account for something. Car again. Nice bit of rubber. Okay, I can't get rid of the big tree. The rubber's nice. That's for sure true. Driftwood is also nice. Just a bit of wood. But unfortunately, it looks like this place is kind of lacking in the steel department. Ooh, a nuclear grenade. I'm glad he did not throw that at me. That would not have ended well. Okay, now let's head up. Where do I want the bed? I want it like middle level, so like here. Um, we are going to have to get rid of the table and the chair for the time being. Beds, now I believe I have the, yep I do, I have the um, vault Tech beds from the vault Tech expansion. There we go. Um, how else do I want to decorate this? I believe the next level is the level to the top here it is. So I think this is probably where we will have... Hmm. Let's try and think. I want storage to be close to the bottom. So we'll do it on this one maybe? I'm sure this will work. Okay, containers. What container would work well here? I want as many containers as I can get, so maybe a couple of lock boxes. 
they're fairly inexpensive as well we'll do one for weapons one for armor now spare guns that I'm never going to use um, I'll put the laser musket in there uh, I want to keep the shotgun on me the fat man's mainly just weighing me down but I do want to keep it on me just so I have some big damage when required and then for armor let's go here Took that all in. Um, I want to keep the Vortex jumpsuits on me. And then. Are you wearing a Drifter's outfit? Oh no. Um, because I'm going to keep Power Armor down here for the time being, what I will do is I do want to build a small, cheap container. Probably just gonna have to be another foot locker. Like here. And then we can put the power armor pieces in there. I know they weigh nothing, but it just unclogs the inventory a bit. As for food and stuff, um Well, I'm gonna place it out here for when we have settlers come in. Food. 10 carrots also at some point I do want to make an adhesive farm um, probably not too far early game because although I will need it um, I just really could not be asked also I'm not sure if you need a chem bench or what and there isn't one here so I'd rather wait until I can craft a chem bench so that'll probably be in like 20-30 levels time Can we get the other type of corn in? No. We'll get some gourds. Gourds are basically just pumpkins, are they not? Or, um. Fuck, what are those things called? Damn, there's a type of thing that I can't remember what it's called. And mute fruit trees are my favourite because they are just so inexpensive. Okay, that looks to be most of it. I still have some corn on me, which I guess I can get rid of. I'll just place it all over here. There we go. Corn, gourds, mute fruit, all sorts. Uh, as for water I'll set up one of these I do want some power though if I can get some I'm missing the copper ooh I might be able to scrap something for copper in here ceramic yeah wood Cork, wood, rubber, god is there nothing that can give me it? Not even up here? Knew that would happen? If I disarmed that, I would have got copper. Um, ceramic, ceramic, wood, ceramic. They're literally nothing. Fiber optics, crystal, wood. Ooh, one copper. We did it, boys. We got all the copper in the world. Right. 
I guess we're going to have to keep an eye out for stuff that gives copper then. Um, that probably also means I can't build any defenses. I was hoping to build like even just a tier 1 turret out front. Oh no, we can. We could even build a heavy one. There we go. Now we have a nice turret. Keep our shit safe. Um, okay, so that's all the building I really want to do. I don't really want to do anything else to it just yet since I can't afford power or anything. Now let's think. That's where Long Neck Lukowski's is. I don't feel like doing his quest. I think that's Salem over there. Getting Reba. Um, Reba 2 would probably be a smart idea since it's a upgraded hunting rifle and it has a myelic damaging effect although myelic damaging isn't the best effect it's still better than none especially if I want to retake the castle at some point the extra damage on the queen would be nice I believe there's a safe in this boat did I loot that? no I can't lock it though cake pan um, I do want to head over to that island though. Let's do that. I said I wanted to do it and I've never done it before, so let's do it. Um, Radex, pop one, hop in. Probably have to take a rad away by the end of the day. Wow, I'm so glad that just rendered in. Can't really see what's over here, so I'm kind of nervous. A basketball hoop, that's cool. Basketball, Gwinnett Brew. You might have copper in you. Is this it? Just a bit of corn. Oh, there's more out there. Can we check the boat by chance? This one here. It's flooded. Okay, yeah, there's probably nothing on here. And if there is, you guys are going to scream me in the comments, so it's not like I miss out on it anyway. Yo, did I see something under the water there for a second? Oh, how do you do that glitch again? There's like a certain height, if you stay in that height in the water. Um, oh, it's the skeleton moving. Um you can like see underwater and shit it, oh because your foot's jammed through it okay yardstick plate um a mute fruit's nice i guess and is that no, no, don't drink the water. Oh, God. I want you to pick the berries. I swear those are tar berries. So if that's just seaweed. Uh, that was cool, I guess. There's not much here, though. Would have been nicer if there's a bit... Like, like a special bit of loot, even if it's just... Okay, game. Sure. Even if it's just a small, like, unique gun or unique piece of armor or something. Did that clock, though, have the junk I am looking for? No. Okay, I don't think we actually have any. Uh, our best choice is to probably head back right now. What of that? No, I don't want to head to the boat. I'm good. We'll head back. 
I guess I'll go out with the doing me a favor if the sun could go away right now, but unfortunately the only fucking cloud has just passed. So I'm probably gonna die of heat again this episode. Like last one. Yay. Oh, Radex is worn off. I'd be careful there's a beach down there because I know my looks my lurk spawn over there. I think I saw a kill claw last episode. I haven't checked this big building here yet. We'll check that out then. See what that's got as a show for us. I know there's a guy over here that we killed with the mines. Right, there's these chunks. Um Oh, oil. Oil's nice. Tin can. Actually, does that have aluminium or oil in it? I can't remember. Let's check. Uh, junk. It is the... Aluminium gas canisters, is that what it's called? No. Gas canister? Steel and oil, it does have oil. Oil's nice because that's for turrets and other electronical stuff, so. I should probably make a junk box now I'm thinking about it. Uh, no, we don't want more turrets. We don't want defense. We want struck furniture, container. And then I'm going to be a bit oso fancy and put up one of these. They should hopefully... Wait. Why have I done this? What am I thinking? Okay, you know what? I've already built it, so there's no point. But you can't just store all junk in the workbench. I'm a dipshit sometimes, I swear on God. Can you open this thing, or is that locked? And are those mines still here? No, I think I picked them up. I guess we can actually head over to the slog. That would probably be a good idea. Where is the slog again? Uh, we'll remove marker. Slog. We'll head to the slog. Why not? Um, I said I wanted to do a quest just to spice up the episode a bit, give it a bit more flavour and combat so you guys don't get bored. Um, once we got the slog, that's a good amount of food, and if we get local leader one, we can set up a supply line so that I can constantly have food and shit at my settlements. Um, it could be a really good water purification plant, which I could use to sell purified water or use as healing items. And is that Doc Crocker? Doc Weathers, that's what he's called. Who's Doc Crocker? Why do I remember a Doc Crocker? Maybe I'm just going insane. Uh, all right, I don't work with these guys yet, so I don't have the aluminium. Um, wise man, you're the exactly the person I'm looking for. Hey, welcome to the slaw. We're the only tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So, what do you think of the place? Uh, it's impressive. It's pretty clever making a tarberry bog out of an old swimming pool. I appreciate your saying so. When I came across this place, it was the first time I'd seen anything like it. It seemed like a shame not to use it for something. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City, until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome, and that's mainly why I started up this farm. Oh. You've done well. Looks like you've done well for yourself. It's a good start, yeah, and I'm proud of all the work we've done. Still, I think we can do more. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, 
with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. I like the way he still wants money either way, though. I think it's a great idea. You really think so? Because if you do, we could definitely use some help. Don't tell me Clarence August. Let's do Green Top Nursery. No, not Green Top Nursery. The farm near it. Yeah, it's the one I was hoping for. I'll take care of those. Have that or is that um? I didn't know what we were going to do. Was it called Hospital? That's the one. Green. Oh yeah, Break Heart Banks. Okay, that's fine then. That's the one I wanted. Um. I knew you would help us. Are you the? You're not the one who sells. It's you, oh, Derriere. Thanks for agreeing to help. Hey there. If you've got caps, I've got goods. I know you do. That'd be great. I'm looking for ammo. Oh my god, I'm fuck. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> I have ten bullets in my sniper rifle. How much ammo do we got? Forty bullets in the ten millimeter. A nuke. 10 bullets my sniper rifle and a assortment of nuka grenades and mines alongside of a baseball bat god we could do this but it'd be a tough squeeze all oh, the assault run is it not there I did see a super mutant and Mr. Gutsy fighting last time I'm here the guts he is still alive, he's just wounded. Okay, what about your homie then? Bloat fly, not quite. Okay, I guess we're gonna go around. Kinda hoping they'd both be dead, but if the super mutant died, then the super mutant died. Uh oh, he's pissed. He's coming for me. Actually, he could be a really useful distraction. I could draw him over to the mutants at Breakout Banks. Is that Assaultron genuinely dead? Mr. Gutsy. Now I'm looking for your wife, Mr. Gutsy. Nope. Okay. Let's find a vantage point. Lord knows we're gonna need one. They also have a small minefield set up. Um, okay, you're the first one. Do I have any performance enhancing drugs I can take? Psycho boost damage and resistance. Mentats does intelligence, Medex does resistance. Okay, what I'm thinking is I cram a buff out, medex, psycho. <clears throat> Thank you for that. Instant kill. I need to keep an eye out for the rest of them. Turn off my light. Whew. Okay, man. Come on. Show me your head. Where'd he go? Okay, if I can't get him, I'll try and get a different one. Mutant hound. A mutant hound that I can't see, bear in mind. I'll say he's sitting in there. God, I have to be so cautious. I'm 
pretty sure I need to go back out of caution into um what's it called into hidden to get more sneak damage which is why I'm constantly moving because if I move there's that frag mine oh hello big guy do you wanna go ahead and stand still for me Donker Shane yo that's the big one that's with Psycho on top as well holy shit There we go, he's dead. He walked into his own landmine. Which is good, we might be able to lure another one in. Who's that guy? Oh, hello super mutant hound. Your bad news. God. Come on, you mutie fuck. I saw you walk up that hill. I need to keep moving away from them. Because I'm also almost about to break caution. But I need to make sure I don't lure in anything else. Like sting wings. Get hit by the, the frag mine. Okay. I couldn't go for the head. So, where's he gone? Or did I kill him? No, no, I didn't kill him. There he is. Oh. Literally just as my medics wore off. Yo, that was my last shot. Didn't make it count. Um, let's try and... Okay. There should be a few more because unless the quest marker is updated, there is three more approximately. I believe there's still one really strong guy over there. I want to save my mini nuke for when I fight something really big though. Where was he? He's by the trees, was he not? I should have a bunch of bullets for the pipe rifle, do I not? I have, to have a couple. I won't do much, especially not against a mutant, but 
Is that really strong guy still in there? Oh no, he's on ground level. A singular bottle cap. My lucky day. Super Mutant Butcher. Oh god. Come on, lose me now, come on, you know you wanna. Sorry for not talking much, I'm like really focused on not dying. It's either that, or I use the nuke to kill those two down there, because they always stand next to each other. Which I feel like would make actually a bit more sense. Why waste it on one guy when I could use it to take up two guys? I can focus the rest of my firepower on the last guy. And there's a strong ish guy over there. Okay. Is there something I can do to increase my perception? Like Mentats? Can they do that? They can. Do I have any clothes that can boost it? Just the eyeglasses? What's it on? Six. <sighs> I don't want to miss this though and waste a nuke. Oh god. That worked out. And the other guy doesn't really care much, which is good. Because it means I can now... I was kind of hoping you would have something useful. <gasps> Hunting rifle rounds. This is turned. Oh god. This was very good until I got in caution. No fight today. There you are. Last result cocktail. <laughs> The nuke grenade is too dangerous to use, it could probably wipe me out in the process. Okay. No man, don't move. Wow. Okay. I see how it is. Can you come back? Like, where the fuck have you gone? I can't even see him. Where the fuck has he gone? Oh, he's gonna sat down. And I bet you, as soon as I walk around here, try and get a vantage point on him, he's gonna move again. Cocktail. Hunting rifle. Oh, he fell through. Ah. 
and he's moved. I told you. I fucking told ya. Time to move again. Uh, or do I wait? <sighs> God. Fuck. Oh, God, don't notice me. Don't be a... Please go back up here. He has. Nowhere. Yeah, the laser rifle. As I said, that we literally wouldn't be fighting anyone with lasers anytime soon. Guy has a laser rifle. Get out of your fucking chair and come stand where I need you to stand so I can pop you in the fucking school. I'm getting bored of standing here. I'm gonna push up. I can't stand around like a little bitch the entire time. Oh great, I hit myself with my own bomb. Blood packs will do the trick. And then you just have to keep hitting him as hard as you can. to force him to come to me. <coughs> that was close, that was really close. How much health am I on? Barely any. Cram. We'll cram some of that down me. Will you leave your little fortress, big man? <coughs> wow. <coughs> Where did my mind even go? It's there at the bottom of the stairs. Instamash. Blumkin mac and cheese. I just need to regen. And I, I can't see him. Was that him? I'm just firing at where the fucking lasers are coming from. Is that him? Okay, it is. Might be able to get a good few hits off now. There we go. I'd better wait a few seconds just because that's just going to be irradiated. And then we can go talk to the guys at Slug and I can get myself some an a focused excited laser rifle, super mutant chess harness, and stim pack, yeah, so it wasn't totally in vain. I was also kinda hoping that they would have copper here. Maybe the fuse has copper in it. And a dungeon steamer trunk, a strengthened girded lever right arm. I'll take it because I'll probably have use for it at some point. Um, do you know what I'm also going to do it's getting too dark for me. We'll sleep for 12 hours.
So just for anyone who's wondering, at some point I am planning to do some videos on Conan Exiles and on, uh, fuck, what is it called? Um, Seven Days to Die. I'm a big fan of my survival games. So I'll definitely be doing those soon. For mutants, won't be bothering yeah, you again. again. Yeah, 100 caps. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. By the way, feel free to use our workshop. I'm glad to count you as a friend. Okay. Well, I'm going to promptly call the episode at the end here. Um, because it's way too hot to record right now. So the plans for next episode are get electricity, um, improve the weapons and armor. I want to probably get myself something a bit harder hitting or a bit more consistently harder hitting like a combat rifle. So I'll probably travel to Vault, this was it, Vault 81 and get the Overseas Guardian. And then we're probably, after that, going to move to Diamond City so that we can stock up on some um, supplies and ammo because we are running kind of low. Um, what do I want to do after that? Probably finish up the base a bit more, get it a bit more well defended and built up and hopefully get some settlers in. Um, let's quickly level up because I just leveled up. I think I'm going to put it in Charisma so I can work my way down to local leader. Probably not a smart move to do right now, but fuck it. Charisma, Charisma level 5. Okay, yes, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit one, um, 750 subscribers by the end of the year. And if we can do that, we'll push for 1,000. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.